Question two then from paper one of the 2017 Higher Maths. There we go, a four mark question this time. Find the equation of the tangent to a circle. Here's the equation of a circle. You have to find the tangent to that circle at this point, which you're just going to assume correctly lies on the circle. Now, you don't do that by differentiation in the higher. You're going to do it purely geometrically by thinking of the circle so that at the point P, its tangent is perpendicular to the radius. Well, to get the equation of that line, since it's perpendicular, you know the center because you can get it from that equation. You know the point P, you can get the gradient of the radius from that, the gradient of the tangent, and there you go. Well, the first thing is, what's the center of that circle? Well, you don't need to bother with your A's and B's and F's and G's. You can simply state it. It's half of those two parts, half of the X term, half of the Y term with their signs flipped over. So that's the point four, three. Doing that gets one mark. The center of the circle's at four, three. The point's at negative two, one. From that, you can get the gradient of the radius. So that'll be the difference in the y coordinates, which I'll just state from here, three take away one, over the difference in the x coordinates, four take away negative two. I was going to jump straight in with plus two, doesn't matter. So that's two upon six, which of course you should simplify to one upon three. Doing that gets the next mark. Now from that, and without having to state that the product of the gradients is negative one. You would do that in a question where you're required to prove the gradient so the lines were perpendicular. You can simply state straight away that the gradient of the tangent must be whatever it takes to multiply to give negative one. So it'll be the negative of the reciprocal. So it'll be negative three. I guess you a mark. We'll just rewrite its name there, gradient of r. Now the final mark's just for the tangent. So what is the equation of this tangent? Will you be using that y minus b is mx minus a to find the equation of a line? So y minus the y coordinate, don't put in the center, it's the point p it's going through, is the gradient negative three times x minus the x coordinate. So that's minus a negative two, but I'll just leap in with a plus two. Now don't leave it like that. There's only one mark left and it's for the final form where there's only one constant, not two numbers floating about. So you've got y minus one is negative three x and that'll be minus six. So finally, y equals negative three x. They must get joined together across this plus one, minus five. And that's the final mark, the fourth mark.